Hi students, here's a quick and easy tutorial on PictoChart. When you're ready to do your PictoChart, simply go to your browser and type in www.pictochart.com. You've already signed up, so we want to go ahead and log in. And I'm actually already logged in. There I am, because I was just in here. Okay, so we want to go ahead and do a new picto chart. I'm going to select the infographic. And down here, I'm going to select a theme. You'll notice there are free themes, which is the ones that we want, or pro themes, which we do not have an account for. So I want you to focus on the free themes. You can customize them. And you may preview them to see which ones you like the best. And if you like this one, go ahead and hit Create. You're going to go ahead and make changes in your theme. I'm going to actually change the text here to say Test Picto Chart. You can make your changes update your statistics etc. When you're ready to save you want to come up here and probably change your title instead of untitled infographic I'm going to call this test picto chart and it's saved in just a moment, it's saved to my test picto chart. Okay, when you are ready to publish your picto chart, you want to go ahead and take a look at the preview. And the preview looks pretty good, and you want to go ahead and do a download. Actually, you don't want to do a download, sorry. You want to do a publish. All right, under the publish, we want to publish to the web, so we want to publish now. We're going to say OK. They're asking us, did we name it correctly? And we did. Now, here's where you're going to get your link. We can get a link here, which I can put on the stream, or we can use an embed code, which is really nice. And we could use that if we were going to go ahead and publish this on the wiki, which we will be doing later. And all the embed code does is it actually makes it look like a picture actually embedded in the wiki. So we don't have to click on anything once we're in the wiki. But I'm getting ahead of myself. For the purposes of your homework, I just want to see the link. So what you want to do is you want to click on this link and you want to select it. You want to copy it. And you want to go into your classroom. And See, I started typing you a note here. You want to go ahead and post it here and then hit post. And I just want to show you that it's actually a live link. If I click here, you will see that it goes right to my link. So that's pretty much how you do it. You don't have to pay for anything. I know some people have asked me about that. You can pretty much assume that if something asks for payment, that is not something we want to be doing in school. We like to be very frugal in our school, so we wouldn't be using payment. If you look over here at Lauren's Picto, um, it doesn't look like she posted the correct link. And obviously, Abby's having some trouble with his as well. So if you look at hers, it still says she's in editing mode. If I click on her link, it actually um, doesn't really show me anything. So make sure when you're going back and you're doing your link that you, let me see if I can get the right screen here, that you are sharing the link here that I showed you. And that was in the publish section of the Picto menu. If you have any questions, give me an email. And don't worry if you're having trouble, just work through it. 
If you can't work through it, send me an email or come see me this week, and we will go over all of this stuff when I see you on Friday. Have a great week.